we've actually been doing some really interesting stuff with structured data sets. So at, at Bain, there's a company called Pixis that we bought about five years ago. And uh, they have, uh, I think, about 55 different alternative data sets. Some are more proprietary than others. But they, we get them from different places, and they have all the raw data. And so we use this to support our work with investors. We also sell dashboards to, to companies and other people. One of the things we found is we've added Gen AI on top of these dashboards, and it's been a big difference. So now, you know, the companies that work with us, they, they can go in there and type in, you know, what's the market share in Dallas, and it'll just, you know, take two minutes, and then boop, here comes a bar chart that shows it over time. And, you know, then it's always on, and the next time they come back, it'll show the next, the next period. And, uh, and that's been really a big deal. I mean, we've seen some of the companies we work with be willing to pay more for dashboards that have that built in. And more exciting than that is we've seen the usage data. We've seen that more people at the company are using the Gen AI dashboards because they don't, you know, it used to be there's some nerd and they know that the market share things on page 30. And, you know, so, yeah. so if someone wants to know what the market, yeah. if an executive wants to know what the market share thing is, they call the nerd and the nerd goes to page 30 and pulls the data and gives it to the executive and the executive shows it to the CEO. Now, what happens is that the executives just go in there themselves and type it in, right? He doesn't, he doesn't need that. And so we just see a lot more people using it, getting value from it. So that's been really exciting. And so I think, you know, anyone out there who's got one of those, you know, a quantitative data product should be thinking about how do we put this natural language interface on it as soon as possible? Because I think it really broadens what you can do with it. And is it SQL based and then you got human in the loop because you got to check it all because it's not always accurate? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So. The data itself has been cleaned extensively with a combination of machine learning, AI, and lots of humans. Um, so you have to start with a very, very pristine data set if you're going to use this kind of approach. Um, in our case, we're using uh, SQL queries of a Snowflake database, but obviously you could do it with Python as well or some other so solution. We, we have enough confidence in it that we're, we're letting it run, but I think we, we encourage people, if, if it's an important query, to, to, check, that, to check the numbers and you know, sure. make not... It's it's a beta, you know it's marked beta right so we're, we're still doing that but but I think we found the results are pretty good I mean as long as the underlying data is good it's pretty smart and the tool is pretty smart right if you ask a question it doesn't quite understand what you mean it'll come back and say oh you know you said you wanted to know the market share in Dallas did you mean this Dallas or this Dallas or you know it'll it'll kind of ask a few questions so I think we feel pretty good about what it's able to do and I mean I'm sure a year from now we'll feel amazing about it 